I'm John Landau, producer of Avatar and the upcoming Avatar sequels, and I'm here today to share with you a little bit about how James Cameron and the rest of the team made the first Avatar film. The first time um, Jim came to me about Avatar was with a scriptment. It was about 86 pages that he had written, and we were in pre-production on Titanic. So it was 1994, 1995. I read the script, and. I said, this is a movie we have to make, but we have to make it someday because we weren't at a point where technology would yet allow us to make that movie. And I felt that Titanic was going to be one of the last times an old-fashioned Hollywood movie was made, where you would build sets, where you would costume thousands of extras. And then I saw Avatar as the next frontier, where you would be using technology to allow you to tell stories that could not otherwise be told. More than 10 years after Jim had shared Avatar with me, I went to Jim about a conversation that, hey, maybe now we can start thinking about doing Avatar. What we were waiting for to, to make Avatar was to be able to put up emotive and engaging close-ups of blue characters. Movies are about the close-ups. And it was what we were able to do with the facial performance capture. Before Avatar, there had been a few movies made using motion capture. I told people, we don't want to do motion capture. We want to do emotion capture. We transformed it because we asked our actors to wear head rigs that would face their cam faces and follow them wherever they went. And we would record their face and interpret it almost on a frame-by-frame -frame basis to drive the facial performances that you see on the screen. We viewed Pandora as a major character. We took over a year and a half to design the world of Pandora, and we challenged our artists to think of Pandora not as a fantasy world, but as a science fact world. But the science was defined by us, but everything had to be believable and it had to work with one another. We had to develop a language for the Navi to speak. And we found Paul Fromer. I said to Paul, so Paul, how long do you think it will take? And he said about six months. And I said, six months to give us the dialogue we need? He goes, no, 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 six months to define the structure of the language and then I could start coming up with the words. People think that, oh, you made Titanic, all you have to do is say, here's the next project I want to make, and the studio will say, okay, here's the money. When we went to 20th Century Fox and asked them to make Avatar, there was a hesitancy at first. You're doing a story about blue people with tails that has an environmental message, who's gonna go to that? And we had to convince them. We had to show them by, by creating the artwork. We had to show them by doing a test of what the characters would look like. We wanna make the movie in 3D because we believe that we see our whole lives in 3D. And that by putting an image up on the screen in high quality 3D, not one that strains your eyes when you're watching it, that we actually make the screen plane disappear and we are sucking you into the window of our world. Jim, uh, being the explorer and the pioneer that, that he is, said, okay, let's go create 3D cameras. Let's go make a camera system that doesn't exist. And it wasn't just the cameras. It was the mount that the cameras went on. We wanted a, a, a 3D camera system requires two cameras, just like our eyes. When we were making uh, the first Avatar, um, I would say to the studio Fox at the time, don't think of this as a movie. Think of this as a brand, a brand that's gonna continue for time after the movie. The movie was done. We needed to take a deep breath and just decompress for a little bit. Jim's idea of decompressing was going to explore the Marianas Trench, which he finally did in 2012. And as soon as he came back from the Marianas Trench, his focus, our focus, really turned to flushing out the stories and Jim ended up with over a thousand pages of notes on where he wanted to go with the stories. And we brought in three teams of writers to work with him 
to break down the sequels into the four movies. I don't think anybody could have expected it to be such a success. I always believed in Avatar, and I believed that audiences would respond to it. Why do people turn to entertainment today? To escape the world we live in. And I looked at Avatar and said, this is a movie that has characters that I want to go on a journey with in a place that I want to escape to.